guys from here, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, we are back with the Scottish Premiership content. We're ranking every single kit in the Premiership from best to worst. There will be some people angry. Let's just get straight into it with the Hearts kit. Look at that colour. I mean, the colour of Hearts is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah. It's a beautiful kit. Yeah. And they don't... Hearts went down last season, relegated. So they, they didn't stay up and win the no, cup? They didn't win the cup, they didn't stay up. They're not playing Stendhal's way. They're not playing Stendhal's way anymore. Oh, fuck. Aberdeen then, shall we? Uh, but, well, no, no, let's start with the light target. Oh, okay. And we've got such passionate subscribers in Scotland, 6,000. I'm bumping it up to 10,000. Let's do no, it, lads. No, Come on. No, that is just stupidity. Why not? No, Why not? Listen, no. you don't know about the Scots, Dad. You don't know about the Scots. That Let's do it. And if there's any new Scots around, sub to the channel. Yeah. Loads more Scottish Premiership content coming. Right, and the first kit we're looking at is Aberdeen. And this is a throwback to 1958 to 1964. Last year's kit, Aberdeen did a better job. They had this whole red out Adidas. This doesn't even have the Adidas stripes. When do you see Adidas not slap the stripes on there? It's yeah. unusual. I actually like that sponsor's logo. Yacht being buffeted by the North Sea wind. I think that's really nice. It's better than a betting company as well. An energy company supporting their local. And the kit is very, very simple. You can't really go wrong with it. I've got them in fifth place. Out of the 12, that's decent. Second place. No way. You put that in second? Yes, yes. That is just a classic kit with a, a bit of dodge on white on the bottom of the sleeve. It's lovely there. And the next kit we're looking at is Celtic. Yep. And you've got the classic green and white hoops and a little bit of yellow detail, I fear. I think this is the best Celtic kit I've seen in the last few years of yeah. releases. They agreed a deal with Adidas as their kit manufacturer and the first year in, they have absolutely smashed it. Yeah. The famous green and white hoops of Celtic, the Daffabet sponsor, with that bit of yellow on top, which yeah. complements the bottom of the sleeves and around the collar. So that little bit of yellow just adds up and, and it really makes the kit what it is. And with the simple green and white hoops, which for once goes around the sleeves as well as all the way up to the top. The thing about the Celtic kits, the 1967 kit, the Lisbon Lions kit is the one for me. They won the European Cup and I can't get beyond that. And I think the designers of the kit, yeah. they've got nowhere to go. They've got rid of the collar from last year, which I didn't like. Yeah, and that's much better as it is. Overall, do you know what actually? There's some yeah. really good kits in the league this season. Yeah. And I'm putting this fifth. Fifth? You have to be kidding me. And I've you just, have to be kidding me. And I've me. just lost a lot of friends. Which Rangers Celtic. fans paid your fair <laughs> off? I've got them in second place. Ooh. And it's in second place because of the one thing that holds it back, it's the sponsor, it's a betting company. I'm just hearing the sound of Celtic fans switching off in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> well, they need to wait for my first place. Absolutely. Well, do. don't. They might be a little bit worried. You might actually. be surprised. Yeah. Dundee United, and look at that orange there. What do you think of that? It's the tangerine and black of Dundee United. What yeah. can you say, really, Dog Dad? Yeah. Everyone knows and loves it. They're back in the top league. It's not a bad kit, is it, Dog Dad? But look at the colour. The more you look at that, it looks like a fox wearing some wraparound sunshade. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Bloody look at, hell. And honestly, look at the sponsor. It's a dog kennel's back. I understand what you're saying about the collar, yeah. but I don't find too much wrong with it. The black on the collar complements the bottom of the sleeve, similar to the Celtic design. I put them in seventh place, which is another mid-table one for me. What about you, Dad? Yeah, and I've gone for tenth place. Tenth place? Yes. That's a little bit harsh, Dog Dad. Because of the collar. Hamilton Academical. Ooh. And we've got some red and white horizontal stripes and the Adidas stripes on the shoulder. You like your stripes, don't you, Fear? I like my stripes but I don't like the shirt. <gasps> There's not enough going on. Look at yeah. the sleeves. You know what Celtic did with their, with their hoop design? Yeah. They let it go through to the sleeves yes. and then they had the added stripes and I like that. But what they've done with Hamilton is they basically said to them, well, we can't have the same as Celtic because the Celtic fans will be saying it's just a template of the same kit. Yeah. So what we'll do is just leave your sleeves as completely empty whiteness. You know what it reminds me of? Those little red and white candies, you know, with the stripes. The sponsor, eco-friendly packaging. <laughs> like, how, how do they have the money to sponsor a football club? But, you know what, fair play. Seventh. I'm putting it tenth. Hibernian now, the cabbage, the only Edinburgh team left in the SPFL, sadly. Yep. And I tell you what I see first, and I respect this. Thank you, NHS. Because this is a message that a load of us want to give right now, isn't it, Theo? Of course it is, dog dad. Football club have taken the risk of not having a sponsor 
and giving up that space to say thank you NHS. Yeah. During coronavirus, during when football clubs should be the ones at risk because they're not getting the sponsorship money and the, and the ticket money in because there's no football games going on. Yes. I'm putting this in first place out of respect. The fact they're taking a pay cut yeah. just so they can give respect to NHS. So well done to Hibernian. You've got that trim around the collar. You've got the trim around the sleeve cuffs. This is a beautifully crafted kit, but I'm not gonna put it first. Ooh, third place. Kilmarnock, and look at this one by Hummel Thea. What do you reckon, mate? We've got this thin white lines through the blue stripes, yeah. which I think are absolutely gorgeous. Hummel have done a great job. Not only that, I love the sponsor. Yeah. Browning's the Bakers, yeah. a bakery company in the Scottish Premiership sponsoring one of the clubs. That is special. Talk about support your local. That is absolutely brilliant from Kilmarnock. Yeah. I've got to say, this is a beautiful design new kit. If I was a Killy fan, I'd buy this. Less is more sometimes, and I think there's too much going on there. Too much going on, Dad! Club shirts have to change every year yeah. so you can get sales. And they've done that so nicely. There's not even a collar for you to get angry about. I generally thought you'd put this first place. I'm putting it ninth, but I still like it. Ninth? Place. Yes. Are you mugging me off, Bob Dad? Maybe if Brownings had bribed me with a few pies, it would have been higher. I'll put it fourth. Livingston, and immediately I'm thinking of that sun baby from Teletubbies. This is so yellow, Theo. It's so what yellow. What do you think? It's the bloody sun dog, Dad. <laughs> yes, sun dog. Yes. I swear it's very similar to last year, and I've not yeah. even checked that. Where's the authenticity? I dislike that kit. Twelfth. Twelfth. Yeah. For that? Yeah. And the last one was too fussy, so you put it ninth. Yeah. This is this is the opposite of that, Dad. There is no pleasing thug, Dad. Well, I've got it in six. Six? Yeah. How can that be six? It's a mid-table kit, Dad. It's clean. And now Motherwell. She's right, thanks. That has got to be the worst choke in our videos ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> right, and now we're moving on to Motherwell. Don't say it. Great kit. <laughs> Well done for winning your Europa League match uh, yeah, the other day. Yeah. Smashed it 6-1. Obviously, it's got that Amber and Clara of Motherwell that they always have on the kits. But yeah, like you said, Dad, it's that claret that goes through there. It looks a bit rugby style. And the white on the bottom, obviously a collar, which means it's not your first place. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it in ninth place. Nothing special. Yeah, and I have to agree, Theo. And I think they've tried really hard to yeah. come up with the retro look. Yeah. But just because they've gone for a 70-year-old look doesn't mean it's ninth. Eighth place. Rangers now are going over to the blue side of Glasgow, aren't Here we, Here we go. And you've not announced your first place. I've announced my first and second, so... Where is it going to be? Is Ooh. it going to be Dan? No, to be honest, looking at the kit, what do you think? Well, I think it's very nice, and I like this intricate V-neck collar. Hold up, hold up. Who's that? Castor. Castor. Who are they? I mean, it's pretty nice what they've got yes, on the collar and it the is. sleeves. It's simple. It's not. But who's Castor? I don't know who Castor is. But overall, you look at this, and it's very Rangers. And apparently, there's been some problems with the home kits. They've been sending them back. They've wow. been having to, to, you know, have to be repaired after a few days. Well, I'll tell you something. If you're paying 50, 60 quid for a shirt, it's got to be good quality. Yeah. And if it's not, then shame on the kit manufacturers. Rangers fans, let me know. If you've got this kit, has it been falling apart or not? We don't know. No. They've got the stay in control now, of course. Uh, Rangers, on the sponsor, yeah. Rangers fans will be hoping they can stay in control of the league and get their 55th title. That's true. They are in yes. first place. You know what? Overall, fourth place. Fourth place? I've got them in third place. So, both right in the yeah. pretty high. Yeah. Not top. We're off to the Highlands now, Theo. Ross County. Here we go. And they've released this blue, two shades of blue, dark blue, light blue, a bit of white, bit of red. What do you reckon? You don't like it, do you? Nah, it's not for me. Stop me, thug dad. The problem with it is that little bit of red on the collar. It looks out of place. I've no idea why it's there. If there was other bits of red in the kit to complement it, I'd be like, okay, fair play. It's okay. not my favourite, but right. it's not my least favourite. Mid table, sixth. I've got them in twelfth. Right, so I'm, no. not, I'm not keen. I'm Theo. not keen. Saint Johnson. Yeah. And I'm not sure about this one, Theo. It's blue and white. The first thing I see is those epaulets on the shoulders. It makes it look military almost. Yeah. And then the second thing I see... The sponsor. Is the collar, actually. Oh, the collar. And then the sponsor. And then the sponsor, the bin group. Ugh. You know what? I, I have eighth written down on this, but I didn't have a proper look at this kit. I'm switching at Ross County. Ross County, you're going up to eighth. Oh. I'm switching St. Johnston down to 12th. 11th. Place. 11th and 12th. If you've got bin group on your... It's not appealing. <laughs> Next one is St. Merne. Well, if you look at the video we did last year, I absolutely crucified this strip. Yeah. And St. Mirren, I've got to say to you, I'm a little bit angry because you've turned it round and this is beautiful and it's first place. You're, no, this is a prank. So, oh, very funny. You're in 10th, actually. Nice. 
No, this is gorgeous. Now no, look at the no, St. Mirren no, badge. No, it's not gorgeous. And you've got the five no, black stripes. Dad, it's not gorgeous. Which are mirrored You're a on the front of the shirt. That's not a first place you've kit. Got, that collar is superb. And the sponsor, Skyview Capital. They're selling houses on this number one place kit. You are a mug, Dad. You've looked oh, at be Celtic, better Rangers, better than Hibernian. That what do you mean it's not too big? Juventus. It's got a... Do you not like the Juventus top? Oh, Dad, you're a mug if you think this is anything like Juventus. It's totally like Juventus. Oh my god. This is a classic. You put it in first, and now you look like an absolute laughing stock. 11th place. No. Yes. No, you're joking. No, I'm not. No, that is a prank. No, it's not a prank, because it deserves uh, to be there. Me. Wait a minute, I'm gonna have a look around. Where's Jeremy Beadle? What's the team that's are playing Clara and Amber? Um, was it the Motherwell or? Yeah, she's right, thanks. Cannot. Two times! Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. <laughs> Absolutely appreciate it. If you want more Scottish Premiership on a real though, slap the subscribe button on. You've asked for five, six thousand likes. I've asked for ten thousand. Wow. We're gonna prove him wrong. The Scottish fans will do it. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye guys!